<laughs> so, welcome to another episode of Abby, wherein we talk about industrial engineering stuff. Sak sa isang subject. Bag saka sa isang subjects. Subjects isa. Sa isang subject sa college, you have to repeat it. Bang magaling dapat sa English pag industrial engineering student ka po. Ak- hey, what's up, guys? It's Abby here, and welcome back to another vlog. So. <laughs> So it is it is kita niyo ba? Yeah. It is 2:15 in the morning. Hindi na po ako nakapag-ayos ng aking mukha. Hindi na ako ayos ng buhok. Nag-lip tint na lang ako and idadaan ko na lang tong video na to sa filter. <laughs> so ang patulog na ako pero na realize ko na this is the right time to film the Q&A vid about industrial engineering because I still have the energy and I feel like doing it today. So welcome to another episode of Abby wherein we talk about industrial engineering stuff. I um, answer your questions. I make videos for industrial engineers. I ng IE related videos in the Philippines so I am very happy to help. So let's not make this intro very long. Let's keep started. Let's keep started. May word ba nun? Hindi ko alam. So, hindi ko kayo kita. Nagtanggal ako sa lamen para medyo... Iba naman akong tingnan. Nagtanggal ako sa lamen. So, hindi ko kayo kita. I'll just focus on this one. So, here, I have all your questions. I posted on my Facebook page if you guys have questions to ask. And also, kaya ginawa ko to... There are a lot of messages that I got from my Facebook page, which I am not complaining. Pero hindi ko na masagot lahat. Nagahang yung phone ko when I scroll down to the bottom. So I posted a picture, if in case merong kayo ng itatanong na urgent, so that I can answer it directly. So I'm sorry if I can't reply to everybody. I am trying my best, but I want you to to know that. I cannot reply to all because so I didn't expect that there are many interested about industrial engineering. I didn't expect that there there will be a lot of questions or end inquiries. So, but if it's really urgent, like super urgent, you can message me on my Instagram. You can message me on my Instagram. Don't message me, please. Don't message me on my personal Facebook because it's personal. Una-una sa lahat, this is the most frequent question that I get on my Facebook page or on my YouTube, sa mga YouTube comments. So, sabi ko, kasi ang ginagawa ko before, I tell you guys to message me on my Facebook page or Instagram or somewhere for you to be able to get the list of subjects. Now, um, I will be posting on the screens just... Pause the video, screenshot it. I will be posting my subjects since first year up to my last subject on the curriculum. So that's just a disclaimer. These subjects are on what's on my curriculum. Ito yung binigay sa amin ng Batangas State University where I am studying. So it may vary from my school to your school so this is just for reference para magkaroon kayo ng idea of what my subjects are pero hindi na rin kayo mahasel na magtanong sa akin every time you want to ask about the subjects of industrial engineering hi po ask ko lang po sa college student ano student student ano po ba ang mayayari kapag ang isang student ay baksak sa isang subject baksak ka sa isang subjects Subjects, isa, isang subject sa college, you have to repeat it. Um, sa high school kasi, nasanay tayo, nakapagbagsak tayo, pwede tayo makiusap sa teacher. Well, sa college, pwede naman siya, pero good luck. Nasanay tayo na nare-resolvahan, mayroong special project. It also happens in college, but it's very rare. Sobrang swerte mo to find, if you were, if you were able to find a prof, will give you a lot of chances. Pero, usually, kapag bumagsa ka, you have to retake it. You have to retake it. For example, like me, I failed integral calculus. So, I have to repeat it on the summer. And that made me an irregular student. I have, I, um, may naiwan ako mga subjects that I have to take. May naiwan ako, may additional akong semesters because I failed. So, sa college, it's a very serious game. It's a very serious path. It's a very serious years. 
so you have to really focus. Despite all that, I want you to know that even if you fail, it does it doesn't mean na every occasion in your college life would be a failure also. It's not like that. Sometimes failing is just part of it. So, yeah. Um, Emerson Cruz. Sabi niya, Hello, Ate Abby. May pinapapili po ba kayong specialization na ititake? May comment siya dun siya. If dati, nung wala pa ng K-12 on the old curriculum, um, engineering will just choose their majors pagdating yata nila ng third year? I'm not really sure. Hindi ko lang kung third year or second year. Pero, new curriculum. Sa BSU ha, sa BSU, what, we, uh, what they did on the new curriculum is, Kung ano yung in-enroll mo sa checklist, kasi sa BSU may checklist or parang may shaden ka or may susulat ka kung ano yung top choices mo. Tapos kapag pumasok yung stanayin mo, stanin sa required dun sa, sa specific course na gusto mo, you will be able to get to that course. So... Matic, during our first year, even nasa main kami, industrial engineering na agad ang tinetake namin. I mean, industrial engineering na major na agad kami. Pero, hindi lahat ng subjects namin is major. Parang halos, parang walang, ah, parang isa o dalawang major subjects lang namin no first year. Tapos, tsaka mas bumigat yung load ng subjects nung talagang umakyat kami sa alangilan. Next is from Mitzi Reyes. Hello po, anong laptop po ang i-recommend nyo for incoming IE student pero sana pang, pang long term use na rin. Um, may nag-comment dito si Stir, Stirlford Fish Business Laptops or Ultrabooks. Ang sabi sa amin ng professor namin, if you are going to invest on a laptop dapat yung core processor ba yung tawag yun? I'm not sure pero core something. Dapat yung core processor niya is i series at na merong quad processor motherboard parang ganun yung tawag. Medyo mabagal siya if you install AutoCAD, if you install um for something for robotics. Um medyo mabagal din yung hindi ganun kalaki yung um hindi ganun kalaki yung storage niya. I'm not a very techy person. I'm not really familiar to this. Pero this is something I can remember from our professors. Correct me if I'm wrong. I am not really familiar to this. Pero yung i7 ng alam ko, yung uh, mga laptop ng Intel, Intel Core i7, um, it is good. It is the best for multitasking. Like if you have a lot of stuff to do on your laptop, on your computer, it's very good. Hindi siya mabilis mag-log. Marami kang pwedeng gawin. Kahit marami kang tab na naka-open. Windows, uh, tab na naka-open. Kasi di ba usually, kapag maraming tabs na open, kapag maraming applications na ginagamit, nagla-log yung laptop or minsan nagre-restart. So, mas maganda kung mag-invest na kayo sa laptop. This is from iPrice.co. iPrice.ph. We have Acer Nitro 5. It's 35,421.38. Pero yung sa klasiko na i-series, pero feeling ko mga i4 lang natin sa klasiko. Asus siya. It's, I think it's less than 20? Huwag kong lalabis man mga 21. Ganon. May mga ganon naman kayong makikitang laptop. Mas magbibili kayo ng laptop, the best thing to do is ask is ask a professional or ask someone who really knows something about computers and laptops para matulungan nila kayo. Tapos sabihin sa kanila, um, engineering po ako, kailangan ko po mag-autocad, may kailangan ako for drawing and robotics, so may kailangan ko po na solid works, madami po ako gagawing mga uh, presentations, kailangan ko po ng laptop na magagawa lahat yun. At the same time, maglalast ng matagal para Alam niyo yun, parang hindi kayo papalit-palit ng laptop. Ayun. From Kenneth Corporal. Ilang years po ang ginugugol ng IE student? Sabi daw po, 5 years, five years yung additional 1 year po ba for preparation for licensure exam. Just to be clear, wala pong licensure exam ang industrial engineering. Um, unlike civil, unlike mechanical, unlike other engineering, engineering majors, wala po tayong licensure exam. What we call sa industrial engineering exam is certification. Unlike the licensure test or the licensure exam, this certification is not 
compulsory. It's your choice if you're going to take this or not. Pero it's advisable na i-take nyo siya kasi there are some opportunities out there that I think requires or I think would appreciate more if you have if you are a certified IE. So, ouch! Kung ilang years ang ginugugol ng isang IE, it's actually four years on the new curriculum. Pero, merong nag-comment dati sa video ko na bakit daw four years kami sa BSU pero sila, um, on the new curriculum, five years pa din. So, I'm not sure. I'm only speaking based on my experience. So, sa school namin, four years po ang industrial engineering. So, every time, madadagdaga na lang yun kung may mababagsak ng subject and you have additional semester. So, from Sean Villiamore. Required bang magaling dapat sa English pag industrial engineering student ka po? Actually, our Filipinos is not our first language. And we learn it only from school. Hindi natin siya talagang nakagisnan. What important is you learn the language because it's a universal language kasi kaya maganda na talagang knowledgeable enough ka about English. And it's also help helpful kasi sa IE, we have a lot of we have a lot of presentations, defense, we have interviews. You and it's also an advantage for you if you want to work abroad, if you want to test opportunities abroad, it would be for the better if you would be able to speak the language. It would be the best for you if you would try. Hindi kailangan na magaling ka. It's um, kailangan lang you are trying, you are trying to learn. You are trying to speak the language. So, hindi naman... Gone are the days that people are judged based on the grammar, their English grammar. So Next, from Jody Paula Orozco. Hi, Jody! Book recommendations, ate. By the way, I missed you. Looking forward for the new vlog. Thank you! Si Jody, ano siya? Subscriber ko siya siguro. Tagal na! Lagi siya nagko-comment sa videos ko. Sobrang tagal ko na siyang subscriber. Wala kasi kami, guys, na halos ginamit na books. Ang ginamit lang namin na book, na, uh, sa ano lang, nung nasa main kami, nasa main campus, mga minor subjects lang. And usually, what we have is the presentations from our professors. Yung mga presentations na ng professors namin, yun yung inaral namin. Tapos, additional study from YouTube. Kasi binibigay din silang mga authors, halimbawa sa mga calculus subjects, binibigay silang authors ng books na pinagkukuha na nila ng reference. Yun lang yung kinukuha na namin minsan. Minsan nasa syllabus din, binibigay silang copy ng syllabus. Next is from JDWP Staipai Horlickson. What to expect with the subjects, and especially Calculus 1 and Chemistry for Engineers? Calculus, part talaga siya ng engineering courses. Yung Calculus, parang siya yung base. Parang siya yung base math of engineering. Though, kailangan naiintindahan mo yung formula. Kailangan may malawak ang knowledge about algebra. As much as possible sa mga nagme-message sa akin, lagi ko sinasabi, advanced study sa algebra. Mas palawakin nyo yung knowledge nyo sa algebra. And magsaulo ng trigonometric functions. <laughs> Dito ako nadali sa um, calculus. So, this is the reason why I am irregular. So, for chemistry naman, I don't think major siya ng IE. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is from Luhan. Kailan po mag-start mga thesis research paper sa IE? May thesis po ba every year sa IE? Marami kang mararanasang research paper making. Sa industrial engineering, you have... May mga minor subjects na nagre-require ng research paper. Meron ding mga major na... Mga major during our second year na nagpapagawa ng research paper. Ang pinakamabigat na research paper or something like that na gagawin nyo in industrial engineering is feasibility study. Especially ngayon sa curriculum namin, medyo, according to our professors and my classmates, medyo mahirap siya kasi sobrang siniksik yung time frame to have your methods, you have your methods research for industrial engineering. So, yun yung mismong thesis. You will take it on your senior year. Tapos, merong capstone project. Senior year din yun. So, there are a lot of research paper making in IE. Ako, pinaka-importante sa akin during, during research, mga ganyan, 
is to have a very good team. Kasi kapag hindi okay yung team mo, mahirap mag-work. So, ang isa pang tanong na nakukuha ko is, kailangan ba magaling ka mag-drawing kapag industrial engineering ka? The answer is no. Uh, based on my experience, based sa pinagawa sa amin ng professor namin, Sir Gerson, hindi sobrang complicated ng mga drawing kinemerlo namin. Hindi siya complicated hindi siya complicated, kayang-kaya yung gawin. Except the final requirement, except the final requirement na pinagawa sa amin na drawing, medyo mahirap siya, so matagal. The problem lang sa engineering drawing is kailangan you really have patience kasi hindi, kada isang mali, kada isang gure, kada isang lagpas na line, sa amin yung ginagawa is may deduction sa points. So, you really need to be clean sa inyong paper, sa inyong drawing, sa lettering, and... Kailangan daw ba magaling ka sa math pag nag-engineering? I think what what's more important is not always if magaling ka. What's important is you are learning about something you're good or you're not good at. Ko alam kung meron akong tanong na hindi nakuha. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And naantok na ako. Alas 4 na po. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well. Congratulations if you are already on the Industrial Engineering Department, especially sa Froshies ng Bad State U. Welcome and congrats and I hope to see you very soon. And do sa mga Froshies ng BSU na nagme-message sa akin, Hello! Thank you and thank you for watching my vlogs and yun lang. Ako inaantok na. Good night everyone and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and always remember to make your eyebrows on. Thank you.